Glass Academy, which I co-own with my husband, Chris Nordine. And welcome, I'm glad you're here. I learned how to blow glass in a historical Americana museum called the Henry Ford. I really liked the glass and the techniques I learned. However, I knew there was more. I'm all about color and pattern. I mean, like, check this pattern out. It's so cool. So I wanted to learn more how to make these fancy patterns and techniques. And so I studied under an Italian master. He taught at Maine. He would come during the summers. His name was Lino. And I learned all these great techniques from him. The problem was I knew that if I continued down this path, my work would show up in museums or private collector's homes. And I really wanted glass that the everyday user could use and function. And maybe that's why I like these duck shoes. They're kind of the same thing. They're super high quality, but everyone can wear them because they're super comfortable, whether you want to dress up or if you're like me, a craftsman who wants to get in the studio and just get down to the I love them because of the toast bread. It's super cool. I do natural movement exercises where your toe really needs to grip. So these shoes absolutely do that for me. Love them because they stand up to the forest. <laughs> And I just want to share, these are the products that we make at the Glass Academy. We're really inspired by nature. We love to get outdoors, and sometimes when you're outdoors, you might see the gnome. are made in Europe and we ship to Europe, you guys ship to us. Talk about global commerce, I absolutely adore this. But next we're heading off to the gallery because I want to show you the products that we make. So during 2020 we came up with a new product because that's how we roll, you always got to have new products. And this year it was the slug. Don't ask me why, they're super cute, they're really well crafted. The eyes are this really neat Italian glass making technique and I'm really into high quality crafted items. Very similar to these shoes, the leather is amazing. The craftsmanship is phenomenal. I know these shoes are gonna carry me to where I need to go. I don't worry about them. I put them on my feet, I forget about them. They're very cute and fashionable too. But next up is the glass shop and we're gonna show you how we actually move the glass we're not going to make a full slug, but we're going to show you some of the process that we use. Come on over to the hot shop next. So we opened the Glass Academy. What we do here is we offer classes and we offer you a chance to try some hot molten glass in your hands and tools and see what that's like. But we also make everyday products. And I really like that because this is something handmade, an original work of art that everyone can use. Whether it's drinking your green smoothie and mixing it up, or if you want to drink a beer out of it, there's something here for everyone at the Glass Academy. Phone rang out the door I was and I'm like, oh my gosh, my new shoes. You know how you'd be like, 
leave the shoes on and you don't leave the house until you know you want them. That didn't happen to me, I took off. So I love my duck shoes. These were my first pair, the boot, which my daughter has now, and then I got the boot. And then today you see it's getting to be spring in Michigan, so I bought these maybe in January to have. Um, we've got welding going on today and some grinding. And so I did post a picture in the flock of my daughter's boots all dirty and muddy and people were like, clean them up, take care of them. But the reason I bought these shoes is like, we work, we are hard and we work hard on our shoes. And I wanna know that when I come to the glass shop, I can drop paint or welding material or hot glass on these. And these shoes are work shoes. That's what I bought them for. Um, I also work on a farm. I volunteer on an organic farm. And that's exactly why I bought these boots. Come spring, they're gonna be on my feet. I fully expect them to be muddy and dirty every day that I wear them. And I have no fear that they will.